Welcome to Physics with Mr. Brazil. Today we'll be discussing component vectors. Uh, this is part two of a two-part series. Uh, link will be below to part one if you need to see that. We'll be discussing um, component vectors and determining their angle and placement via um, compass direction. So for example, you may see this north of east. So what does this mean? Well, you take your compass and you would place your vector on the north side of the compass of east. The angle would be between the vector and the east portion of the compass. In other words, of is circular in shape, you know, the O and theta is round. That might be a way to help you uh, remember this. In other words, you would place that theta between the vector and the last um, coordinate compass direction, okay? So here's another example for you, west of north. So we would place the vector on the north side, but the vector would be, or um, not the vector, but the angle would be next to north. In other words, between the vector and the north side. Now, there is another thing that, or another phrase that occurs you know, the word of is not there. You may see something like this, south of east, northwest. Excuse me, I shouldn't have said south of east, southeast and northwest. Well, what that only means is that the vector is placed in, at the south and east quadrant, the other vector on the north and west quadrant. And it's just exactly at 45 degrees. In other words, on both sides of the vector, it's just 45 degrees. So anytime you don't see the word of, it just in, indicates, it'll say, you know, they'll say south of west, it'll be 45 degrees, south quadrant, west, you know, southwest quadrant, and the vector is just 45 degrees. So let's take another look. Angles, you know, we could use the angle directly, you know, counterclockwise like your physics teachers taught. But the coordinate, if you know the coordinate plane where X and Y and the first coordinate are positive and, and the second uh, quadrant, uh, negative X, Y po uh, positive, and then the third, both are negative. And also in the fourth quadrant, X is positive, Y is negative. If you have that in mind, then the north of east and, no, and no, the of just it's just another way or better way i think sometimes to designate the location you know the the displacement and the angle or location of that vector so here let's take this one for example and again i'm using meters but this could be miles per hour this could be newtons it could be a force that it's a magnitude i'm just trying to make this as simple as possible so a student walks 15 meters east turn walks 7.1 meters northeast, so that's gonna be 45 degrees. Finally walks 24 meters at 20 degrees south of west. What is the student's displacement and direction? So let's place our vectors, tail, head, tail, head. Now I tend to tell my students to put a coordinate plane at the ends, you know, where the head and the tail meet of the second vector or the following vector and write their angle, 45 degrees. Do the same thing for the 20 degrees. Again, we notice that this is in the negative quadrant, a third quadrant. Now, draw a component table, x component, y component, and just start doing the math. Uh, for the first vector, x sub 1 is 15 meters, cosine 0 degrees, so it's just 15 meters. Fortunately, there is no y component. Sine of 0 is 0. Now we do the second vector, x of 2, 7.1 meters, cosine 45 degrees. That's just 5 meters. And fortunately, the y direction also, 7.1 meters times sine 45 is just 5 meters. It's the same thing. Now we go to the second, uh, the third vector, excuse me, x of 3 equal, uh, equals minus. So 
we could put the minus 24 meters because we know that cosine 20 is not going to be a minus, but this puts us in that third quadrant. Now, it would be fine to write 24 meters, positive 24 meters, cosine 200 degrees, 180 plus 20, and you'd still get the minus 23 meters. But the beauty of having the, the, the north, the excuse me, that was not north, but south of west, it just tells us what quadrant we're in. We automatically now know that things are going to be negative. And then the Y sub 3 is also going to be negative, negative 24. Had it been in the, the fourth quadrant, we'd only need to make X, keep X positive and Y negative. But in this case, they're both negative. We sum them up. Okay. And then next, we have to use Pythagorean theorem for the resultant vector that's in red, as you can see over here, okay? Now, square root, uh, square and square root, we're going to see that the displacement is 4.4 meters. What we need is the direction so that we know what in what angle or what position this is pointing to. So take the arc tangent of... Uh, the y uh, sum and the x sum. I keep the, the signs and the units so that people know where I got in the answer. So it's 47 degrees. And the answer would be written, student's displacement is 4.4 meters at 47 degrees south of west. We know easily which quadrant we're in and how far away the display or how long the displacement is or the magnitude if this were meters per hour or meters per second excuse me or newtons or some other unit okay other than that this is how it works um if you need to review review the this video pause it and try to figure things out other than that enjoy physics and have fun with this stuff bye